Right then, we are live. One second, I'm just going to position you a little bit better. So, um, yeah, Charity Shop Hall, it's Saturday. Um, I'm actually in the living room because I'm home alone. Well, not like home alone for a full day or anything, but like, my mum and dad are out, so I thought, I've got all the stuff downstairs. I'll show it to you while I'm in the living room. Um, so, yeah, I've got a few little bits today. Who is in the chat there? Soul, Dam, Funky is in the chat. Da Daniel is in the chat. Hi, guys. Um, oh, it's saying I've only got one viewer, but there's two people in the chat. That's weird. It's obviously not updated yet. Uh, Paul is in the chat. Caroline's in the chat. Chris is in the chat. Kaylee's in the chat. Carp Fishing's in the chat. Wow, we're going up now. Um, that is an insane comment to viewer ratio there. I think we've had like eight comments and there's only six people watching. It's obviously lagging. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, Kelly is in the chat. So... Yeah, I went into town, got a few little bits. Um, I'm not sure on a couple of the items, but I'm, I have researched them. And I'm going to try and give you sort of roundabout prices. Um, but I just sort of picked them up and I thought, yeah, it might be worth it. So anyway, without any more rambling, because I don't want to be too long on this video, I will actually get on with it. Um, so I got this. Um, for one ninety nine, I believe I paid for this. Uh, fun squares. I don't know. I couldn't find it on eBay. Um, but that may go towards my little mystery project or step one or part one of my mystery project. Um, because it's nice and small, so that'll be good for the, for the project. Um, don't know what I'm gonna put on that. Maybe six to eight pounds, something like that. I, I don't think it'll fetch ten, but maybe it will. I'm not sure. Um, but that's where that's going, it is complete, um, and it, yeah, just quite cool, I've never, I've never seen it before, so, yeah, um, one second, I'll just move it, I've got to move all the ornaments, right, I'm just going to check the chat there, uh, Ryan says hi, Tracy says hi, you know you can't resist a good ramble, I know, I won't be able to, that's Caroline, um, I got this, um, the Doctor Who technical manual, as you probably are well aware, I am watching all of the Doctor Who's back from the beginning, and if you would like to know, I'm currently at Tom Baker, my favourite two Doctors so far are John Pertwee and William Hartnell, I've not made my decision on uh, on Tom Baker yet, I'm liking him so far, but I don't want to make a decision or put him in the running until I've watched all of his episodes, I was just thinking about it with my mum and dad, um, so yeah, I'm on Tom Baker, but I loved John Pertwee's Doctor because... It's, um, it, it was so different, like, I mean, it was like doing all karate and everything, and you don't see the Doctor do that now, I mean, okay, in the other week's episode he punched someone, but you don't see, like, as much physical violence from him, and, and it was really odd to see that, and really exciting to see that from him, so, yeah, um, so this seems to, well, it's a bit all over the place on eBay, I paid one ninety nine. It goes from between 7 and £10, but I'm not selling it on eBay, I'm gonna be, um, uh, like attributing this to my mystery project there will be no postage charge from that though um so that means that i can put it in into my mystery project thing um for like seven to ten pounds something like that six to ten pound and it doesn't matter the thinner margin because i've not got postage costs so yeah i will have a read of this as well have a look at this well not really a read it's like got all like um schematics in i think that's the word I love that word, schematic. And it's got the Daleks there. Type V, Dalek. Um, but yeah, anyway, I've got the, the vault thing. You know, if you watch Doctor Who, sorry, I'm going to geek out on you for a second. Are you opening a stop ads? A shop, you mean? No, I'm not opening a shop. Um, eh, no, I'm not opening a shop. Um... It, it, it's only, that's only, what I'm talking about, this mystery project, that's only step one of the mystery project, and I will be revealing to that to you within the next month, once it, like, all gets done and sorted, and that will be step one, that's just step one of about step, about five steps, four or five steps, um, and I'll be broadcasting to you that over the next, sort of, two years, so, yeah, anyway, um, so, Whovians rule, Kelly says, so, Doctor Who, what, I'm going to geek out, so you might want to, if you, you know, if you if you don't like Doctor Who, just skip forward like two minutes. I'm sorry for the live viewers who sk can't skip forward, but, right, so, last week in Knock Knock, at the end of the episode, 
The doctor went up to the, the vault, right, because we don't know what's in this vault. And he was talking to the guy or the girl or the person or the thing in the vault. And um, as, basically this music... Oh, I've been outbid on my sonic screwdriver. Anyway, I'm, funny, funnily enough, I'm getting a universal sonic screwdriver remote on eBay. I'm trying to snipe it. Um, but, right, this vault, he, he then... He was talking to the guy... And then, well, I say it's a guy. I don't mean it's a guy, but this thing in the vault. And this uh, thing in the vault started playing piano. And I was thinking, right, I'm really trying to analyse this. So I was thinking, right, what's that tune? And it's actually Pop Goes the Weasel, the tune, right? And most other people like who are just like intermediate fans or just lower down fans, they don't really care about that. They'll be like, oh, just brush it off. It's just playing piano, you know, just to symbolise that he was actually in the vault at the time. Um, but, yes, it was to do that. It was to symbolise that he is there and there's someone there. And it's to symbolise that it's someone of intellectual capability because they're obviously playing a piano, so it's not like a weird, horrible monster. Like, bleh. But, um, going deep, I think Stephen Muffet, Mofat Muffet, I can't pronounce that, but I think he's better than that. I think... I read the lyrics of Pop Rope Goes the Weasel, and there's a little bit where, like, it says, Sally's got the measles, someone else has got something else, and um, it says, the doctor goes... It's, it's just like, doc, the doctor goes something, or anything. Anyway, something like that. But there's a line that really fits with the whole storyline of Doctor Who, and it's like, the doctor goes, or something like that. And that, I think, that line, that song, you can look it up on your phone if you want, lyrics, Pop Goes the Weasel, and you'll see the actual line, because I'm terrible at remembering it. But I think that means, uh, I think Muffet's put that in there, or oh, Mo, Mo Fat, Mo Fit, I don't know, but Stephen, we're going to call him Stephen, um, I think Stephen's put that in there to be really clever and to signify to those who are willing to look into it and, and analyse like I am, that... Uh, whatever's in the vault is going to trigger the Doctor's regeneration. So that's why. So for one, it's someone intelligent. It it or something or someone intelligent. It's um, probably going to trigger his regeneration. I don't really want it to be the Master or Missy, but I think it might be. But yeah, I I, I want it to be something cool. But I I do think. From that little piano section we saw last week at the end of the episode, it's going to be, um, it, that's going to, whatever's in there is going to trigger do the Doctor's regeneration. But the Doctor went into the vault. So that leads me to believe that he and this person or this thing in the vault have got some sort of like weird Stockholm Syndrome relationship at the minute. Because um, he seemed to talk to him like he was more of a friend because he said, we're both prisoners here too. You know, so it's like, it's a bit weird. But anyway, that's my theory so far. I'll update you. Uh, so that's that. I'm going to get back on to reselling stuff now. I'm sorry. Um, one second. He's got his stock in the vault. No. <laughs> Hi, Ads. Tom Baker rules. I like, I'm not saying I don't like Tom Baker. I'm just saying I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to judge him until like I've got to the end of his era. Um, but yeah, I love John Pertwee. I just, I like, jo I love John Pertwee. I just love his vibe with it. Um, right, next. This was cool. This was cool. We're back on to the re stuff. I apologise. Um, this was cool. So, it's a, like, a, it's only a thin one, but it seems quite good quality. It's like a British Airways, a BA. British Airways. Just a jacket. I mean, I don't know whether it would be... And it's a, by this company called Hembury. I think that's the company, um, and it says a little, little M below it, so I'm assuming that's medium. And it's got a few numbers, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a few numbers, letters above it. H820. Um, but yeah, it's, it feels like reasonable quality, uh, although it is thin. Um, as I say, it's got that sort of like, Hembury make workwear, and oh, maybe it's a workwear thing then. I thought it was just like a more, I thought this was more a casual thing, but just like, a casual thing that someone who worked at British Airways would wear. Um, but no, that, yeah, that doesn't make sense. It's workwear, isn't it? Yeah. So, glad, glad you're pointing that out, Caroline. So, yeah, it, it's just nice. I It was below a fiver. 
Uh, yeah, I, I, um, I imagine it would, would go well as well, Caroline. Paid four seventy five. It's below a fiver, so I thought, I'm not even looking at it, looking it up. I'm buying it. It's cool. Uh, you know what? It probably fit me, and I don't think I should be allowed to wear it because it has British Airways on, and I'm not actually working there, but still, it's a cool jacket, and I would like to wear it. Um, but I might just wear it in the house. I get very touchy about that. Like, you know... Like if you don't work in the in the industry or you don't like um, you don't have a job in the industry, is it good to wear the workwear from that industry or is it a bit sort of insulting to people when you're walking about and stuff? It's like for example, me going out on the street in a firefighter's uniform, and then for one, it's like confusing to other people because they think I'm a firefighter, unless it was fancy dress, of course. That's a different thing, but. If you're just like doing it every day or every other day, it's sort of like uh, not megalomania, but what's that? It's like a, uh, a disorder, isn't it? Like where you have to go out and and feel like you're uh, like dressed in powerful clothes and stuff like that, um, and like uh, an authority figure. You feel like you have to be an authority figure. It's like a I suppose that's a bit of a disorder, but yeah. Anyway, so that's that. <laughs> I'm just rambling again. Sorry. Um, so that's that, and it, it it is quite nice. It's got this like different colour. Keyword uniform, solds are high. Oh, solds are high. Oh, oh, right, good. Right, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check when I when I finish this video. And I, I knew I knew there was money in that. You you get to a point in your reselling where you I mean I'm not saying I'm this good, you know, and I make mistakes and everything, but you get to a point where you just see money in things. And you're just like, yeah, I know that, and you know, that's fine, that's cool. Sometimes you make mistakes, like I do a lot, but um but, you know, I thought, I saw money in that, so I was getting it. It was about, oh my god, I went to town a bit earlier than usual today. I went to town at like ten past nine. There was loads of resellers in the shops. I swear there must have been about four of the resellers I saw, and I I swear there were resellers as well. There got to have been. Um, so that's that, anyway. Um, I got some general sealed DVDs for Amazon. I uh, paid a pound each. I think they were only going for minimum of about five or six quid. And then maximum of about eight or nine quid, so nothing special. But for a quid each, I was gonna it's gonna be a play up player on them. Uh, Eagle Island, Lost Boys, and then a kids one. Yeah. Anyway, a quid each. We'll just go in another FBA box. Ooh, what's that? New bid. Right. Okay. Um, been doing been doing a lot more auctions recently. Not auctions as in like from like you know an auction house. I mean auctions on eBay. Um, I got this Lego Land poncho because I've seen one go for seven quid plus postage, and I thought ninety nine p. I know I said I'm doing that whole don't list below a tenner thing, but I just couldn't resist. I thought it's cool. I've not seen one, so I'm gonna whack that on. Um, and maybe I should. I don't know. I'm still like that about this below a tenner thing. I'm like, if I can list it quick, and it's like a jiffy bag like that, seven eight quid. It's it's okay. But then again. In like a two months time, am I going to be back to listing three pound items, which I don't want to do? So, I don't know with it yet. Still, I'm, I'm like, mm. um. But anyway, yeah, I got it anyway. I got it. I I was weak willed. Got it for ninety nine p. Yeah. But anyway, cool. Um. What else? I got these three. I don't know whether the vintage. Uh, sorry, Caroline just had a message in. Daniel, I think. A mannequin will do... Oh, they're just talking in the chat. That's okay. Hi, Lisa. Having a nice weekend. Oh, yeah, they're just all talking in the chat. Hi, Lisa. Um, question. I have ordered half a male mannequin as I like... Uh, as I like to buy... Oh, no. Caroline answered that. Okay. Okay, sorry. Um, I'll be back to it. Um, I don't think the vintage vintage... Um, vintage vintage? Is that a word? I don't know. But they're just little pinball things. Um, perfect for what I'm doing. So, these will be going into the old mystery project. Paid 99p each on these. Probably be looking to get three, four pound back. Maybe a fiver if I'm lucky, but yeah. Probably around that price. I might price it at fiver and see see how the market is and work things out. Um, and if you don't go, I can just reduce them, can't I? So, yeah, that's those. I've seen them on eBay and like some of them, like... This one, I think, boxed, goes for like 15 to 20. Well, there's one on at 15. 
Um, I didn't even bother checking souls because I thought 99p each, I'll have them. But as I say, they're not going on eBay. Um, but yeah, there, there is some money in them on eBay if you're wanting to pick these up for eBay. But I would get them very cheap and maybe get, you know, if they're boxed, is always good. Better money in them boxed. But yeah, that's those. Um, and the perfect size, perfect size for my little project. Um, Right, what else, what else? Pocket Scrabble for a pound. I don't even know what that goes for. It's a vintagey one. It's a bit more of a vintage one. M, C, M, 1900. L is 50. 1981. If you know, you know, Roman numerals. I can't even say it. If you know your Roman numerals, 1981. Um, and I love that picture. They said, like anyone's going to be looking at the Scrabble. That's so great. Yeah, but that is nice. So um, I'll, what I'll do is I'll get some other... I think I might already have some other travel games, and it might just go in a bundle. Um, but what I might do is put, like, three of them together and maybe go for 12, 13, 14 quid, something like that. Um, and hopefully they'll go okay over summer. They were okay last year in some of the travel game bundles, but... Yeah, just, they've slowed down a bit. They've slowed down a bit. Um, but yeah, that was that. Stock and a business account. Need to register with HMRC. £27. Personal liability insurance. To become a reseller in the future, what insurance would I need? Stock and a business account. Yeah, that's basically it. You You literally just need... Also living with my parents at the moment, would they change home insurance, bond society consents? Any help, much appreciated. Um, I think I got your message on my Facebook page. I replied to you on my Facebook page. I've not, I've not had a chance yet. Um, but I think you are... I forgot, I forgot your name. I forgot your name. But there was someone who messaged me on my Facebook account earlier. So I will reply to you because I think it is you. So, yeah, anyway. Uh, what else? Um, oh yeah, this now. Right. This is so heavy. Um, it's Tidmouth Sheds. Tidmouth Sheds. It's got a ton of trains in it. I paid five ninety nine for it. Love the tartan shirt. It's not a tartan shirt. It's a... It's a jacket. Like, I, I don't know whether... No, that's not tartan, is it? Well, it's a jacket... It's falling to pieces. I don't know where you see it. Oh no, is it the other side? Hang on. Oh no, I'm wearing it inside out. It's the other side that's got the holes in. Ah, oh, that's clever. Oh no, it would. No, even if I was wearing it inside out, it's still. Yeah, there's the hole. There's a little holes in it. But um, anyway, I paid five ninety nine for that. Five ninety nine. Um, I saw. Is it Liz's reselling? Liz, Liz resells or something. Um, ages back, she doesn't do any videos anymore, I don't think, but I saw her pick it up, and I thought there was money in it, but they're all over the place, like, some of them have gone for, like, £10 plus postage, other more elaborate models with more trains and more pieces have gone for, like, 40 quid. they're all over the place, this one has got a ton of trains in, one second, it, like, a ton of trains, whoa. How many are even in there? Like 20 or... But yeah, like 20. The, the, the ton. All different makes. They're not... That one is... Gila Gulano? Gulano? I don't know. But a ton. A ton anyway. Like literally tons. I'll just get loads out for you and then you can sort of see. I mean, it's just tons. I can't even hold all of them. Like, tons and tons. And there's so many more. So many more. Uh-oh. That's not good. I didn't want to do that. But, anyway, you get the picture. You get the picture of that. I'll sh I'll turn it round now. Maybe just turning it round would have been a better idea. But there's still loads of trains in there. Still probably... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. And I've probably pulled out 10. So, 20 trains, so I'm happy with that. But I don't know, I really don't know. 5 99 might have been a bit too much to pay, but I just 
went on it on instinct. Um, but I think the number of trains I've got with it might save me a little bit. Um, but as I say, we've gone from anywhere from, from like ten pound plus postage up to forty quid, depending on how many car, how many trains you got with it, uh, what sort of track, how much track you've got with it, all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to move them over here, and then I'll do the last few bits. My mum and dad are back now, so you might see them walking. Um, why are you wearing the jacket inside out? Uh, did you get dressed in the dark? No, well, it, I say inside out, but it's actually a double. Like, you can you can do it. Well, I think you can do it, like, double. I don't actually know, but you can see the logo there. It is meant to actually be the other way around. But, um, yeah, I, I like it this way. I do. I like the colour. Um, and as I say, I've started wearing my summer shirts now. Even though it's not that sunny today. It's first day in about six, seven days. It's not been sunny. Reversible. Yeah, that's the word. Reversible. I don't know why I said inside out. Reversible. Um, right. Something that I didn't know was a bolt. Well, not a bolo, but because it's not that not that worth that much. But these. Do you remember these? I don't know whether anyone will remember these, but I think we did them before my generation, and then we redid them when I was a kid. Um, and you used to get them little chocolate squares, sort of shove them down there, and then you put your 10p in, and then you get one out, and then what I used to do is just buy the packs, and then not shove them in there, and just literally eat them. Um, but this was 2 dollars you're all right, you can come in. Um, this was $2.99, um, and yeah, I was surprised, I, I just sort of researched it because it was a bit of nostalgia, and it goes for 12 to 15 Hello. pound. And it goes for twelve to fifteen pounds, so three pound into twelve to fifteen. I'm happy with that. Um, and yeah, I think I think you can get some really good money if it's boxed. Um, so yeah, that's that one anyway. Oh, and it's made by. Don't even really see that. It's made by Hornby. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and then finally, what is <laughs> what is he doing? And then finally. Right, the interruptions stop now. Right, um, we've got this TY nineteen ninety nine sealed in in its little bag. Uh, TY McDonald's ba Beanie Baby, and it is Smushy the Frog toy animal. Paid ninety nine p. I don't know. I just thought. I, basically, I grabbed that and I thought, you know what? That looks pretty cool. Nineteen ninety nine, new and sealed. If it wasn't new and sealed, I'd be like, no, I, I won't take it. But I don't know. There might be some money in it. Um, I don't know whether I've got any other T.Y. Beanie Babies like around the house or anything. I might do. I don't know. I honestly don't know. But I might might do a little bundle with that if I get any more. But yeah, that's that anyway. So, yeah. Um, it was okay today. It wasn't too bad. Your dad looks like someone famous. Can't put my finger on it. I, no, I don't know who you're on about. Um, I remember them, Daniel says. Can you do it both ways, Ads? What the jacket? Yeah, you can. You do you mean? Were you talking about the jacket? You can reverse it both ways. Yeah. Um. Um. Right, that's everything in the chat, I believe. Yeah, that's everything in the chat. So yeah, I mean, I've got a, few, a nice little pile for my little project. Um, so I can start that up very very soon. Um, I just need to pull a few items off eBay to start it up. And that's really annoying me because I really want to get to a thousand listings, but I'm not going to be able to do that if I pull some stuff off eBay to fund this project. Well, not fund this project, but go towards this project. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit annoying, but I will. Um, the dad from Meet the Parents, is it Robert De Niro? No. no you know, it doesn't look like him. No. I wouldn't know, I wouldn't say that. But, I don't know. I don't know, I mean... Vintage to toy store ads, um... No, 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 no. Um, something I'd like to do, but no. Um, in one respect, the end goal is similar, but no, not quite. But, I mean, some people have actually got it right, though, fair enough. Honestly, honestly, you can't be dead. You're a child. Oh my god. Um, um, 
Oh, what was I going to say? He's put me off. He's tr creeping in, man. Um, oh, what was I going to say? Yeah, well, the end goal is similar to that, but as I say, I'm not quite this part of the project. Um, but as we ramp up and we get to maybe step three or step four, you're getting warmer. You're getting warmer. Um, oh, that was it. That was it. I wanted to say, um, yeah, some people have got it almost right. They're so close, but they just need to think smaller. Um, so some people got it right, but we just need to think smaller and then think bigger. Don't start with something big if you don't know the market. That's all I'm going to say, because that'll give it away. Don't start with something big if you don't know the market. So start small. Um, but some people have got it semi-right, semi-right. Um, as I say, I'll be revealing, revealing that to you in a, in a couple of weeks to, uh, to a month, because I know I'm probably annoying people with just saying, oh, what's this mystery project, and then never revealing it. But I am going to reveal it very soon. Um, but there is going to be a bit more of a build-up, because I like the build-up, because it frustrates people, and it makes them think, Oh, just tell us, and then when I tell you, it becomes all, all more, all the more better because it, you've had that long build up. Um, it's like advertising for a new TV show and stuff. World domination, why ads? No, 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 no. Just you know, I could, I, I can't do that anyway because I can't get. I realised that in my life, there's pretty much no way of getting more than the GDP of a, a single country. So then you could essentially if you whispered in the right ears and you had some sort, well, some major, major authority, you could actually buy the country because you're earning more than the country actually earns in a single year, like their GDP. Um, but that was just a theory I had when I was younger, and thinking, oh, yeah, I could actually buy a country. But that would be kind of immoral as well. Well, it would be immoral. Um, but, yeah, my plan is just to keep growing this and... Um, and get to where I want to be, and then where, I want, where when I'm where I want to be, then scale it up even further. But you've got to set yourself like little goals, and there's I've I've got like one place of where I want to be, um, and then you know which I will be end of this year, early next year, and then there's another place after that that I, where I want to be, um, and then there's another place after that. So I do like little goals, so I have like little targets, and then. I'll work up and then once I've got to that target, I'll, I'll think about the other target. But don't the, the problem, what people do is they put all these different things on themselves. So they put a lot of pressure, like they'll say, well, I've got to get to this target. I've got to do this. I've got to do that, that, this, 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 that. And it just doesn't work. Um, what you have to do is sort of set smaller targets along the way to your bigger target. Don't just throw them all at yourself in one go. It just It's just too much. It gives you too much pressure. Um, obviously there's little things like day-to-day -day tasks and stuff that you're going to have to set yourself all in one go but I'm talking more of a long-term task don't just throw all these long-term you know goals and tasks on yourself straight away because you're just going to want to back out um, just do it in steps that's why I've de devised a step process for where I properly want to be um, what happened with the wine selling blood oh I told you about that it, can, it was a complete Oh, it was a complete bad idea of mine, like, seriously bad idea of mine. Um, did you decide to kill it and put it down as a last... Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, you, you've expanded your question there. Um, yeah, I did, I did, and it was something... Ooh, it was hard, it was hard, because... Oh, it was bad, It because I was convinced that time, I was convinced, like, yes, this is, this is it, I'm going to make a load of money with this, and, and that's that, but... It was the wrong attitude. It was... I wasn't doing what I set out to do, like, with my reselling. Like, I wasn't... I wasn't following the path that I wanted to create for myself and that I was really happy doing and uh, really comfortable doing. I threw myself completely outside my comfort zone with the website. I threw myself completely outside of my... Not my tolerance to risk, but like I didn't look at it as as extensively as I know I said at the time, oh yeah, I know what I'm doing. I've looked at it, all this sort of stuff. I always say that just before I do a deal, but the reality is I never do ever look at it as much as I should. Um, and 
sometimes, and, and it, well, especially in that case, I got too, I, I got too ahead of myself, and I got too off my own track of where I want to go. Um, and the fact is, I want to go where the resign takes me, not where something else takes me. But I'm outside my comfort zone in, and I don't like, and I don't enjoy. I need to, I need to go where the thing that I enjoy takes me. If you understand what I mean. Um, but it, yeah, I was. I just had to kill it. it. You know, I put it down. I've held my hands up, um, and it was a complete mistake. And if anyone wants to do it, I would suggest weeks and weeks of research and much more than I did um, to be able to do it properly. And 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 again, enjoyment is such a a big part of it. Just enjoy what you do. You know, if you don't enjoy something or you're going into a business that you don't feel fully passionate about don't do it, because it's just not going to, like, that's the reason I tried ladies clothing, and I might do a little bit in the future, but I don't think I'm going to go down that route too much, I tried men's clothing, and I like doing a bit of that, but I'll probably only stick to a few jeans, a few shirts, and a few random articles of coats, and, you know, jackets, and things like that, because I don't want to go any further than that, I don't have as much passion for it as other people, so that's, as I say, that's why I'm not doing as much as the lady clothing, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to pick certain little bits up here and there, um, but yeah, that's what I'm saying, just have complete passion for what you're doing, or else it just, it's not going to work out in the way you want it to, um, right, anyway, that's it, I'll, I'll leave it there guys, only a quick one, I know I've been half an hour for a little haul video, it's terrible, um, I will see you in the next one, guys. Give me your thoughts down below on my little Doctor Who theory, um, my little Doctor Who vault theory, because um, I'd like to know that. And, yeah, I will see. I, I, I did record a sales update, and I'm in the middle of editing it, and there's a few bits that are, like, I don't know. There's a few sales that I'm, like, thinking, I, don't, I might show, I might not, because of sharing and stuff like that. And I was very rambly in it as well, so I don't know, I might en I might edit that one, like, really intensively. Um, or what I might do is just record another one today, but there is one coming. So trust me, I know I've said it, like, tons in the past, and then I've not delivered on those promises. But I will, I will deliver this time, because it needs to be done. Um, just think of how much money and time in the future you will save due to what you have learnt from having a bad experience. Um, lovely to see you live ads, enjoy the rest of your weekend, um, yeah I know it's, um, I've, yeah but I don't learn, I just do, I just do things and then I repeat my mistakes, I hardly ever learn, um, there are things in my reselling that I've had to learn and I've had to change and it's been frustrating to change because I've been thinking oh I've just got to grip with where I am now and now I have to change something because the market's changed and it's been really hard for me to um, adapt to those changes, well, not adapt to the changes but actually adapt to change itself because I do not like change, I've always been a person who doesn't like change and uh, just fundamentally I just don't like change, like people leaving the workplace or leaving school, people, new people coming in um, or like, you know, new systems coming in and all that sort of stuff. And it's the same with my resign. It's like, I, I didn't like the adaption to change. It's been so hard for me to uh, enjoy change and learn to change with change itself. If you, I know it's getting very weird, but yeah, I'm actually learning to change with the change. If it, it, I know it's a bit mind-boggling, but I'm sure some of you will understand what I mean. Um... And now, I mean, I'll just jump into any niche and I'm like, yeah, I'll change, I'll swap, I'll do this, do that. The problem is, with that, is sometimes I get things wrong, sometimes I overpay, make mistakes. And then sometimes, through those mis mistakes, I don't actually change with those mistakes. I don't change to develop those mistakes. I just go in, change niche, and then start making mistakes in another niche, and then change again, and then like, do 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 more mistakes, and then just change on it, do 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 more mistakes, and all that sort of stuff, but I miss some things I get right, well, obviously on this channel you can see there's some things I get right, and I'm turning over a fair amount each month, I'm making a fair profit each month, I'm reinvesting, I'm managing 
to sustain a business, so there must be something I'm doing right, but um, but yeah, it's funny, and that's always how I've been, I've always thought, you know, I'm just like a guy who makes an incredible amount of mistakes, and if I can get through life happily making those mistakes, and comfortably making those mistakes, then that's that's all right, you know, as long as I've got enough to, to eat, and I've got enough to, you know, in the future pay a mortgage or whatever, then I'm all right, I'm all good, you know, but I'm going to make a lot of mistakes in the future, I know it. Um, anyway, enough of that, enough rambling. I will see you in the next one, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the sales update. See you very soon, guys. Boo!